I grew up doing gymnastics at a really young age out of uh, Prince Edward Island, moved to Ottawa um, a few years back and started an adult gymnastics program for all ages and abilities and, and backgrounds and as well as many different disciplines. And uh, I realized uh, from doing gymnastics my whole life, uh, learning the ABCs and learning my own limitations, that led me back into doing gymnastics myself, just to feel better and move better and keep myself active in every day. And that has allowed me to be able to share that experience and, and be able to teach uh, others. And that's what this program is all about. I got into gymnastics. I think what tweaked my interest actually was hearing it on a podcast, Tim Fair Show, I believe. Uh, check out that podcast and that was probably quite a few years ago started doing weight training started to feel some things that didn't feel so good right my elbow was hurting my shoulder was hurting uh, my knee started to hurt at some point obviously I was not doing things right I was something was not right obviously I was doing it by myself so I didn't have the right guidance so I started to look towards other alternatives remembered about gymnastics did a Google search actually, found Alex Kazam Gymnastics, really the the only adult gymnastics here in Ottawa that I could find, so I'm very grateful, and started his first onset program. All right, so let's get started. You're gonna follow me. Guys, let's do a little run around the gym. Let's get crazy. I've realized that there's more to just than just strength, right? Doing weight training, that's great, and I'm gonna get big, but for what's the point, right? What's the point of being big? Uh, for myself, I wanna be I wanna be able to move, I wanna be strong, but I wanna be fit. I wanna be able to crawl around on the ground with my five-year-old and play and jump on the trampoline and go to the park or whatever it may be, and be able to do all the stuff that he can do, maybe some stuff that he can't do, maybe uh, encourage him to do some of those things, right? And big circles. Decide. So we have all ages and abilities and different backgrounds and from, come from many different disciplines that are a part of this program, um, like Casey. Maintaining flat back. It's not about touching the toe, guys. If you don't touch your toe, it's not a big deal. For those that are tight, just try and keep your bum sticking out. Also bracing the core a little bit. Okay, ready and up. Hand on the hip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. And down. And I think that most people um, nowadays need more movement. We're sitting at the desk, we're rounded in, this, in these positions. We need to be doing uh, exercises that explore those ranges that keep us young, keep us active, and keep us moving, playing with our kids, uh, climbing trees, uh, or whatever that looks like. And then there's the fun side of it. Okay, so you gotta get a little more action in there. You just kinda gotta go. <laughs> Good try. And let's get Kazam! 10 and hold, hold it, hold it, reach out. Let's go, Casey. There we go. All in the arms, let them come up. Let them come up in the air. And control through, exactly, working on that strength. That's it, hold it up, hold it up. Transition, and 10, nine, elbows in tight, eight, seven, six, proud chest, five, head neutral, four, three, two, one, good. But it really opened my eyes to things that I can't do and things that I need to work on, and it's just like building houses, right? What I do, right? If you don't have a solid foundation, it doesn't matter how good your house looks because it's not gonna be there in 10 years, who knows, right? So building that solid foundation and going from there, so. Uh, thanks, Alex, for putting this together and uh, getting me hooked. Control down. Show me control dip. Transition. What do you need help for? It was easier for you up here. Good job, man. Who's up? 
I think a lot of people struggle to get to the gym and be consistent. We hop all around, we do different gyms, different sports. And what's happening here is we're creating a community that brings people together and gives them that exciting environment to move, hang and play on the apparatuses as well as connect with each other with different partner drills and, and, and just doing things that are fun and, and transfer to specific skills. Thank you guys again on the count of three. It's never too late to be awesome. Ready? One, two, three. It's never too late to be awesome. Things that you can work towards. And this is one of the most hardest, frustrating, and longest processed learning skills in all of Genesis. But it's friggin' rewarding when you learn it. Good, and give me 10 reps. One, two, seven. Whoa, whoa. Good job, man. Okay, without the bucket, same thing. And that's what it feels like to fly. Case. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah! And that's what it means to be awesome. Yeah. Woo! Sweet. I'm going home. Stage over. <laughs>